Last but not least, I want to talk about the mini helper. The mini helper can be brought up by pressing Ctrl D. Similar to the Pi menu, this is our in operation tool for dealing with things on the fly whenever it comes to working with box cutter. So you use D to configure your cut beforehand, jumping to the type of operation you would want and configure it. And you can use Ctrl D alternatively to basically do the same thing with even more flexibility and options but you can use this in the middle of an operation. So for example, I'm going to draw a box and then press tab to pause it. And then I'm gonna press control D and just click on wedge in order to turn it into a wedge. And that's really all there is to it whenever it comes to using box cutter and the control D. In fact, there's so many things you can do with it in addition to that. Newly added to this version is the ability to go in and modify the dimensions of your shape on the fly. So if you need to get very precise dimensions for your cutter, you're able to do that just by going in and modifying these options. The same options that you see in the control D are also the same ones you see whenever you bring the top bar drop down here, since the mini helper was also added to the top bar to just expand on the first button. So just letting you know that there's a multitude of reasons that you can be getting the most out of um, control D just letting you know that in the event that you ever need to just reset your taper you can do that if you need to change the rotation on your snap and gone line you're able to do that here in addition to that you can also press control D jump in here quickly turn on grid and then instantly you have your grid on just like you can inside of the D pi you can go in and turn grid off reverting yourself to only dots and you can also see the top bar updating to let you know the same information in the event that you need to get in here and begin drawing a mesh starting off of the surface. And because of our hotkey display, we know that by pressing W, we are toggling the wedge state or activating wedge if it's already activated, thus turning it off. Looking at the hotkeys, we also see that pressing B will bevel it. We see in the view that rolling the wheel will add more segments. And with that, we can click. We can click it again via the first item listed in the help letting us know that that will confirm the cut but in the event that you are doing a cut and you need to perform operational changes in the middle of it you can always press Control d and it will have information relevant to your operation at hand for you to make fine adjustments so since i have a bevel active i can get in and adjust the bevel choose how many segments i want on the bevel if i were to press t to activate solidification I can pause it with tab, press control D, and we see that solidify is a preference or a uh, property being mentioned here that we're able to make adjustments to on the fly in order to make finer adjustments in the event that you need even more control than the modal operation afforded to you just by pressing T off the bat in order to make such an adjustment.